briefly showing what it means that we're exporting the full uh, site as a structure. So what I've done here is that I already connected uh, to the Contoso uh, 018A tenant. So let me actually briefly uh, zoom that so you can actually see what's happening here. Um, so I'm already connected, uh, so I can do something like get uh, SPO site, and that's going to list all of the sites which are available in the tenant. So the connectivity is, is already available. Okay. Uh, and what I have here in this tenant, uh, I will actually go to the site. I'll show you the site first, uh, if I can find the right location. And this is the right location. Excellent. So let me go to this marketing site sales and marketing site and we're going to use this as an, an example to export uh, this site as a site design as a site script and, and then kind of uh, have a look on the JSON structure and what we actually got from the site. So obviously um, the BMP engine works uh, as well. Uh, it is actually more capable but the BMP engine is then slightly more different to get integrated on the out-of-the-box provisioning experience. So briefly uh, explaining that as well. If you want to extend out of the box site designs and uh, site creation process, you basically then are introducing site designs and site scripts, and those are the ones which are visible in here. In my case, I have here one uh, custom site design, which is the Contoso Electronics Communication Site, and that's why this, the, the site design exporting is quite important. Uh, you can absolutely create a quite simplified site designs and then, uh, or complex site designs, and if the, the basic capabilities are not sufficient, then you use such your functions and you extend the site designs using alternative means. Okay, uh, briefly, simple site, uh, well, quite complex site actually. I'm going to go back on a commander and I'm going to actually copy uh, the PowerShell command, which is not yet released. I'm looking into potentially, uh, uh, potentially, okay, potentially this one, get this one released uh, tomorrow. Uh, if I have time, I was still planning to have tomorrow also off. So let's see how that goes. It might go that I'm push, uh, pushing share, new SharePoint online release for Monday. But what we did here is that we're running the get SPO site script from web. We provided a, a URL to that site, uh, which we want to export. And then we have a few different options. So include branding, include theme, include regional settings, include site external sharing capability, and include lists. So you're able to pinpoint to a specific list as well. <clears throat> and then I'm actually doing the click command here, which means that I'm actually copy at paste it from the memory. Yeah, here we go. Cool. And let me slightly zoom that bigger. We can actually see what that we got exported. So basically, we executed. <laughs> thank you, the Windows V. Yeah, yes. Uh, <laughs> so we executed, uh, exported uh, the data from the site and based on the configurations um, of the site. So as an example, there's site columns uh, created there. There's a content type, which is a PMP event, and all of that is getting uh, exported. Uh, create SP list uh, as well. So it's basically then mapping what's included in the site and I also had uh, the list uh, switch on and I said I want to have a company event and the uh, product events if I remember correctly and so we have a definition then all for all of these structures and there's the product list yes and we also have view definitions all of those and the theme setting of the site and also the navigational settings on the site so as an example what are the navigations? How do we render the header? And do we have a footer or not visible in the site? So all of that is, is basically then uh, available. Good, a quick demo. I'm gonna move back on the slides and we're gonna talk about a few of the roadmap slides as well. But basically, rather quite easily, you can now export then site designs from existing sites and we will then uh, do additional configure, additional settings and additional uh, options there in the future as well. But already as such, you can quite easily extend out-of-the-box site provisioning experience. 